Why does your haircut look so bad as it's growing out? And that's what I'm gonna be discussing and going over with you today. I get a lot of comments from people sharing with me. They say, you know, so long guy, I can't find someone who cuts hair like you. What do I say to them? I'm like, you know, you just need to find someone else. I mean, you can't, you can't change the skill level of somebody by telling them something. If you can't find someone to cut hair like how you want or how I describe, you just need to find someone new. <laughs> if, like if you, if you find, you don't, you don't like the dentist you're going to, you're not going back to that person. You don't like your personal trainer, you're not going back to that person. It's that simple. You're not gonna tell them how to tell you how to lift weights. So if you have a bad haircut and you're trying to grow out your hair and, and you may think you have a good haircut, but, but the, the topic of this is why does it not look good as it's growing out? And chances are it's because it's just not cut properly. So let's take this mannequin here, for example, and let's just say you have hair that's a little bit on the longer side like this, all right? And you are trying to grow this out. You know, you haven't, maybe you, you had a haircut, I don't know, two months ago, and you're trying to grow it, and there's just something not right about the entire haircut itself. Well, let's just talk about what could be wrong. The person who cut your hair may have cut it uneven. So what you can do is you can actually hold up your hair like this, go all the way up and check to see on the ends here, how even is it? So if you're combing your hair up or pulling your hair up and you see like, oh my gosh, you know, like, why is this so much longer than this down here? Something doesn't seem right. You probably, you know, had gotten a bad, uneven haircut. It was unevenly layered. It wasn't cut properly. Because when I, you know, would see clients, I would make sure that I cut that hair that, so it would grow out looking really, really, really good. That was the whole point of, of my haircuts is that, yes, your hair will look good in two, three months because of how I'm cutting it. I know a lot of times professionals, they, they want you to come in as often as possible. So that's how they, you know, they make money. So maybe they don't care. They want to look good for like, a, you know, two, three weeks and you have to come back in for a haircut. So check your own hair and just lift it from out like this, especially if you have longer hair and check to see the balance. And if you're pulling one area, like say like this, and then all of a sudden you're, you're still pulling your hair and one, you know, one piece is out of your hands already and this you're still pulling, chances are it's uneven. Take a hair cutting comb, look in the mirror, comb your hair, you know, straight upwards like this and check to see on the ends how even it is. You know, uh, you may need to go in to get it balanced. And I would highly suggest, you know, maybe yes, if the person who did it last time, they know how, how to cut hair properly, then yeah, you can tell them, hey, look, you know, I'm growing this out, but I've noticed it's really, really, really uneven. <laughs> Chances are they may look at their own work and be like, oof, who did this? I did this? Yikes. <laughs> you know, uh, because a haircut should look pretty good as it's growing out. Now, obviously it depends on the haircut. It depends on what style you're going for. Those play in a lot of factors. But since a lot of times nowadays people are trying to grow their hair longer, if, if you're just seeing that it looks really choppy or you know one side is really heavier than the other side, it's simply because you didn't get the proper balance or the proper shape when you got your haircut last. What do you do? Well, it depends. If it's been two, three months since you got your last haircut, okay. Maybe you're due to go in and get it evened out, right? And balanced up and tell the person cutting your hair, hey, look, I'm trying to grow my hair. Can you just like even a lot of this out? It's very uneven. Point, you have to point out to them where the uneven parts are. Now I, you know, when I was, you know, I, I'm like a surgeon. I would, I would just, in my consultation, I would just start to pull the hair and be like, oof, I see it right away. Or I can just look at someone's hair within seconds and just tell like, okay, yeah, this is not cut properly. So you need to point out to them, look, this part right here is so much longer than this. It's not balanced. It's not, you know, it's not laying right. Tell them, you know, work, show them visual cues so that they are like, oh yeah, this is that piece that's a lot longer. You know, again, it depends. If you're going to a barber who's spending, you know, 15 minutes cutting your hair, chances are it may not, you know, may not be the right solution. You may have to go to a hairstylist or, or find a barber or stylist who really understands 
hair shapes and how to cut hair and how to layer hair properly. That's really what it comes down to. So I, I think a lot of it is uh, you have to check to see what went on during your last haircut and make sure that you know it's cut properly. You can't really force someone or or you know by watching my videos. Yes, you can, you're going to be able to pick up little pointers like, like I mentioned. Hold the hair out. Show the person where it's uneven, where the trouble area is. Even just getting your hair cut in general. You want to you wanna share with the professional what the issues are. Because once you share with them what the issues are, they're able to then go in and see them with you. If you don't really communicate, uh, and, and I understand that, that, that's a difference. And I've been doing a lot of these you know, filming this whole ep this show I have on the road with the salon guy, and I'm going into barber shops, I'm going into hair salons, and I'm. The difference is pretty pretty interesting, right? When I when I hear a consultation from a barber, as compared to a stylist, it's like whoa, it's like night and day. A barber's consultation may take like, you know, forty seconds, whereas a prof a hairstylist it may take you know five to ten minutes, uh, and I've witnessed it firsthand, so. You really have to explain and find someone that can really consult with you and understand what you're talking about and not just try to rush you in and out because they have, you know, 15 minutes to cut your hair. So let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Do you have any stories to share? Is your haircut growing out unevenly? Is there something issue, uh, some issue with your hair? Were you able to do what I suggested and see the uneven parts? If so, let me know in the comments below. So if you want to purchase any of my products, don't forget use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.theslongout.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.